वेलकम बैक है सेनुआ सागर हेल्प लेट पार्ट टू जस्ट टू सीक द मेजर अपडेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनहेंस एडिशन दिस इज द अपडेट लॉक द डेवलपर्स हैव एडेड अ न्यू वेरी हाई ग्राफिक्स प्रीसेट द गेम सपोर्ट्स टी एल एस एस फो इट ऑलरेडी सपोर्टेड टी एल एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन बट नाउ इट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट्स मल्टी फ्रेम जनरेशन विच इज एक्सक्लूसिव टू आर टी एक्स फिफ्टी सीरीज चीप यूज अनफॉर्चुनेटली द गेम स्टिल डज नॉट सपोर्ट एफ एस आर फ्रेम जनरेशन दैट वर्क ऑन एनी चीप यू फोटो मोड हैज बिन एनहेंस द गेम इज नॉट स्टीम डेक वेरीफाइड इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड सम परफॉर्मेंस इम्प्रूवमेंट्स ट्वेल्व सेंस कंट्रोलर सपोर्ट अ लॉट ऑफ बर्क फिक्सेज आर ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टेस्टिंग एन हैंस एडिशन ऑन माई रॉग एल आर रनिंग ऑन विंडोज इलेवन आई एल बी यूजिंग न्यू कम नाइन स्मार्ट टू रिप्लेस द इन गेम टी एल एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विद एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन विल बी इंजेक्टिंग द मॉड इन टू द गेम वाई ऑप्टिस के लमॉड विल यूज फेक एन वी ए पी आई टू रिप्लेस द इन गेम रिफ्लेक्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विद एंटी लैक टू विच विल हेल्प इन कटिंग डाउन द लेटेंसी दिस गेम स्टिल हैज ब्लैक पास एट द टॉप एंड एट द बॉटम साइड्स सो आई एल बी एडिटिंग द गेम्स कॉन्फ्लिक फाइल टू रिमूव दिस ब्लैक पास विल ऑल्सो एड अ फ्यू लाइन्स टू डिसेबल इन गेम पोस्ट प्रोसेसिंग इफेक्ट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूजिंग न्यू कम नाइन स्मार्ट विल बी राइन द पी सी गेम पास वर्जन ऑफ द गेम बिफोर जम्पिंग इन टू द गेम प्ले वुड लाइक टू थैंक की मेल एंड एक्स बॉक्स फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग मी विद अ फ्री मंथली सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ पी सी गेम पास दिस सब्सक्रिप्शन गिव्स अस एक्सेस टू हंड्रेड्स ऑफ गेम्स वी कैन प्ले दिस गेम्स फॉर एस लॉन्ग एस यू वॉन्ट अंटिल अ सब्सक्रिप्शन एक्सपायर्स गेम्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट पार्टी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टूडियो एंड इवन थर्ड पार्टी स्टूडियोज आर अवेलेबल ऑन पी सी गेम पास इवन ई ए प्ले मेबरशिप इज इंक्लूडेड एंड इंडिया माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इवन सपोर्ट्स यू पी आई मोड ऑफ पेमेंट This game's profile does not pop up automatically in Adrenaline software. We need to manually add the game's .exe file to Adrenaline in order to gain access to the game's Adrenaline settings. I'll show you the process. Let's open the game's install directory. Click on the three dots, manage. Click on files. Click on browse. Open the game's install directory. There's the folder Senua Saba. Open content folder. Open Hellblade 2 folder. Open binaries folder, Win GDK folder. You need to create a desktop shortcut for this .exe file. Help led to Win GDK shipping. Select it. Right click. Show more options. Send to desktop create shortcut. You will find this shortcut file on the desktop. Help led to Win GDK shipping dot .exe. Now just open AMD Adrenaline software. Click on gaming. Click on the three dots here. Click on add a game. Click on desktop. Hey, look for the game shortcut file. There it is. Help led to select it. Click on open. I have already added it to Adrenaline. There it is. Click on the game's profile, Adrenaline settings, free sync and v sync enable. Now just launch the game from Adrenaline software. Otherwise, Adrenaline settings won't load up. We'll be using the latest preview 13 nightly build of OptiScaler mod. Can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler Skater. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Click on this dot seven zero link zero point seven point seven preview thirteen two zero two five zero seven three one. We'll be using build zero point one three zero universal version of Nucom Nine Smart. Can be downloaded for free from Nexus Smart's website. Just need to have a free Nexus Smart's account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download here. We'll be using fake Mikao's fake NV API version one point three point four. To replace the in-game reflex implementation with anti-lag two, download it from GitHub. Expand the asset section. Click on the dot seven z link here. Open File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find all of the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory. It does not matter. First, I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the Games Install directory. Open Xbox PC app. Go to your library. Select the game. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. Open the Games Install folder. Open Content folder. Hellblade 2 folder. Binaries folder. Win GDK folder. Paste everything here. And just change the name of Optiscaler dot TLL file to DXGI dot TLL. Now just open optiscaler dot ini file. Just set the x12 upscaler to xcss. Set fg type to newcoms as we will be using newcom nine small and uk ems. It's mentioned here. Click on file, save. 
close now i'll be installing fake nv api open its archive file copy the two files present inside this archive file need to paste them in the same directory where we install octiscaler mod game folder content hellblade 2 binaries pin gtk right here now i'll install newcom 9 mod open the mods archive file open dll underscore version folder copy this dll file tlsg 2 fsr 3 amd is better open the games install directory content folder hellblade 2 binaries win gdk paste the dll file here everything has been installed now i'll show you how to disable the in-game black pass we'll also show you how to disable a few post processing effects that can interfere with Nukem 9 spot just need to edit the game's config file open c drive open users folder open the folder that has the same name as your pc's username now open app data folder if this folder is not visible on your pc just click on view here go to show check the setting hidden items open local folder here look for a folder name help late to there it is open it open save folder open config folder win gtk folder this is for the pc game pass version of the game here look for a file name engine.ini there it is open it using any text editor scroll down to the end add the following lines I'll provide them in the description of the video. You can copy these lines from there and paste them here. These lines under system settings sections basically disable chromatic aberration, lens distortion, depth of field. Also disables the in-game black pass. Click on file, save, close. We are ready to run the game. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. I have installed Alice's latest official GPU driver that I had support for Battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile all 3 power value set at 27 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vida 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. Graphics settings. Display mode full screen 720p. Upscaler set to DLSS, yeah this means Octiscaler mod is working, frame generation disabled for the time being. Using the Upscaler's quality preset, make sure automatic sharpness is set to off, sharpness level 0, this can affect Newcom 9's mod smoothing effect. V-Sync off, NVIDIA reflex on, mod will replace reflex with anti lag 2. Variable rate shading off. I am using the game's low preset. This game is very heavy on the GPU. Advanced setting. Setting set to low. Now just go to accessibility setting. Set motion blur to nil. We are in. Just open Optiscale menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, make sure XCSS upscale is selected version 2.0.1. Auto exposure setting is on, Newcom 9 is not disabled for the time being. Just check this setting override under sharpness. This will increase the game sharpness level. Default value 0 0.300 up to you. I'll just select 0 0.400. Move the slider to the right. Click on save INI. Settings will get saved even after restarting the game. The mod settings close. I'll enable anti lag to latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo Alt Shift and L. Keep pressing the hotkey combo to cycle through the different display options. Here, yeah, real time latency value can be seen. Big open area here, FPS is close to 33. Check out the animation quality, it's looking a bit jarring. Black bars are not present. Removing the black bars make the game more demanding on the GPU. Thirty to thirty-five FPS here. Alas, at the end, waiting for us. The RAM usage is close to five point one GB, almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. Okay, now I'll enable Nukem Nine's mod FSR frame generation. Open the in-game graphics settings. Set frame generation to on. 
back to the game yeah fps increased to around 70 this is amazing can observe the add amount of smoothness the combined mod is working properly no artifacts are produced around a character model real world input delay nothing extreme latency value 70 to 75 milliseconds just make sure our character is not standing close to the left edge of the display otherwise you will see some double images around the edge when moving the camera around see just observe her hand there is the double image and this issue is difficult to spot on a bigger display my allies ok i'll start the next sequence chase sequence a giant monster will be emerging from this land frame generation works during the cutscenes i'll just skip it sequence started this sequence is very heavy on the gpu keep an eye on the frame pacing graph there will be a few hiccups games interface it's not flickering subtitles and everything see the place has literally turned into hell oh got stuck that was close very close somehow i survived i can hear the monster i tested the launch version of this game it used to stutter a lot here less stuttering this time this is the enhanced edition graphics look amazing even on the low preset yeah, i am still not safe sequence complete oh he's there monster is emerging yeah cutscenes are very heavy now i'll show you some combat oh my god there's the monster Next sequence, it's a bit dark here, I'll use this torch, 70 fps here, you can see a ghost image around Senua, it's an in-game effect not related to FSR frame generation, so everything is working properly, to find the exit. area seems to be blocked opened up hitch you can't beat me down anymore I'm waiting for the combat to start In this thing it's mocking me yeah Time to fight against this thing. I have my iron mirror. Block. Mirror discharge. Used it. It's a good experience on rock. I like just a few hiccups here and there. Nothing extreme. Definitely playable and Newcomb 9 mod works very nicely. Combine it with anti light to to cut down the latency. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.